Hey, it's Michael Gugis with Road Racing World and Motorcycle Technology Magazine, and we're out at Chuck Walla Valley Raceway today for the intro of Triumph's 2022 Speed Triple, 1160 cc's of Street Fighter Madness. Um, Triumph has comprehensively redesigned the bike this year. It's lighter, it's faster, and it's more sophisticated. So. Um, we spent the morning running, uh, running around uh, the track and it was wonderful. It's, there's nothing better in life in terms of motorcycling than having an empty racetrack basically to yourself. It's just glorious. Now, the racetrack is not the environment that the Speed Triple is designed for, but it works really, really well here and it allows us to really explore and enjoy some of its um, strengths. The, focus of any Street Fighter really is the engine. So Triumph redesigned this engine to have less rotating mass, less inertia, quicker RPM. A big bore Street Fighter lives and dies on its mid-range torque. Triumph kept all of that from its previous iteration and added a whole bunch of horsepower on top. The company claims 177 horsepower on this critter and it feels like it every time you pull the trigger coming out of one of the corners here at Chucky. Um, you know uh, that the bike is doing what it wants to do and what it's designed to do when you're starting to pick it back up out of the corner and all of a sudden you realize that the front wheel is really really light and the bars are waggling in your hands and all you're doing is grinning. Um, the chassis also has been redesigned. It's also really impressive again understanding <clears throat> that it's designed as a street fighter and is you know supposed to be perfectly capable in sitting upright street riding environments. The chassis is stiff, um, feels really really stable mid-corner with the Street Fighter, you have a little bit more flickability at the expense of some really high speed stability and very, very fast turns like, you know, race bikes do. Um, but this bike still flicked into a corner really well. The bars are a little bit wider this year, so you have plenty of leverage. And once it's on its side, it's nice and stable. The, uh, there's a couple of switchbacks here and there at Chuck Walla, and the bike moved from side to side easily and comfortably. Um, the brakes are amazing. The electronics are really, really unobtrusive and very sophisticated as well. The uh, entire riding experience combines the riding position, the really powerful torquey motor that really kind of doesn't matter what um, gear you're in, the really high-end suspension. It's got Olin's front and rear and Brembo brakes at the front allows you to just turn lap after lap, going faster and faster, with relative ease, relative comfort, and more and more and more speed. For a more comprehensive review, we take a look at an upcoming issue of Road Racing World and Motorcycle Technology. I'll tell you this though, I only quit riding this bike today when they threw the checkered flag at me. My name is Michael Gugis, and I'm with Road Racing World and Motorcycle Technology. Thanks for watching.